proventriculus. Across the forest floor, the last hours of summer sun have faded into fall. We are navigating without a compass, without even a thought of destination, except toward the pull and sonorous sound of dark and running water. Were we to be found here deep in these woods days from now, having slept in the shadows of the groaning white pines and tamaracks, rusting together under the wind and in the rain, having folded fingers with the hoary roots and hairy moss-covered logs, logs in name only that have lain in wait so long that their paper bark, white and waxy from their youth, is now nearly transparent in the night, fallen, watched and waiting for their own rebirth, as trunks reaching for the sun from seed to sanctuary. Were they to find us here, grayed but not lost, two cylindrical owl pellets disgorged and lying side by side, reborn as bones regurgitated from a great horned owl, they'd hear first our song, and putting us back together they'd know our story. Falling leaves abandoning their stalks, blue sky above, wanderers of bark and bone and branch, insect-like we step lightly through the world too small and green, yet harvest ripe with silence, death at every breath, and hope at the edge of a sky brush drawn across the azure with abandon, without regard for failure or felt fortune. But lying here, our thoughts and memories buried for a time, ourselves unable to see the trees for the wild unknown of the forest floor, to know that in our absence, others outreach their grasp, the spores and fungus first to fill our lungs with memories of spring to come. Sliding salamanders, slow to freeze, pull silently away from our shadowed selves, lifting off in flight from the yellow tamarack feathers falling down over cold little rivers running everywhere, like mice in tunnel trepidations. Left behind the owls hunting yellow eyes, a bed of needles dried, feet falling without a sound underneath our thunderous breathing. We came out, you and I, to find the happiness of new-formed wings, the remembered foldings of the hours upon themselves, the softness of the dark like dusty moths kissed against our face, leathery bat wings brushing by as they capture the last lethargic mosquitoes drawn forth by the beating of our hearts. We drank the dark and lonely water and laid our head to rest. A bag of bones that jumbled forth sprang dancing from the earth. A leaf, a fallen kingdom for a crown. Dead flowers, summer's heart. I'd follow you again, you know. You only have to ask.